So today, my dad is about to get arrested and go to jail forever. The police are at the door right now and he's about to find out that he's going down. But first, let me explain why this is happening. For the past 24 hours, myself and my girlfriend Lauren decided it would be funny to make a ton of wanted posters about Richard. We spent hours and hours designing and making the most realistic wanted poster on the computer. Lauren, I think we've just made the most realistic wanted posters ever. We went onto Google, looked for the world's most realistic wanted posters that are actually real and just copied them. After a few hours, we finally had finished our designs and we printed off over over 50 of them. We wanted to get revenge on my dad Richard. And if you haven't seen, recently in my family there's been a massive prank war going on. And I wanted to take it to the next level and prank Richard really badly. And this is exactly what I did. Right, so we now have over 50 of these posters guys that are going to go everywhere all around our local area. He has no idea he's at home and he thinks nothing. He doesn't even know. He's going to walk to the shop probably and just find his face. <laughs> It's fine, it's wanted. Now, let's actually read what it says. So this is what the poster says, guys. It says wanted, and then it says Richard Nyland, date of birth, 5th of the 4th, 1956, which is his real date of birth. And this is the best bit, guys. An arrest warrant for Richard Nyland has been issued pursuant to a serious burglary and robbery <laughs> involving the theft of jewelry on December the 6th, 2022, which is a few days ago. A warrant for his arrest, arrest has been issued. If you see Richard, please stay far away as he could be dangerous <laughs> and could put your life in danger. <laughs> If you see Richard, please get in touch with the police as soon as possible for urgent action. Now there's one more bit that I didn't show you, Lauren, which I added on myself. £5,000 reward from the Crime Stoppers. Oh no! And at the bottom is a fake number, it's not real. It's a fake number. Everyone's going to be trying to get hold of him for that £5,000. <laughs> People are probably going to actually try and find him. Yeah, I know! That's a fake number though, so they can't actually ring it, but... It looks pretty real to me. So after we printed off over 50 wanted posters, we thought it would be funny to go around and stick these posters all over the local town. From lampposts, to shops, to even the garages, to restaurants and people's front doors. We wanted everyone in the local area to see these posters. And we actually wanted everybody to believe it. And we wanted Richard to actually believe that the police made these wanted posters themselves. So we put them everywhere. After we finished sticking these posters everywhere around the local town, we were going to tell Richard that somebody had put these posters up and revealed to him what was going on. But then Lauren had a much bigger and better idea and was much more evil. I think it's time now we go and tell Richard that we found them. Do you reckon? I've got a better idea. Oh no, what? I think posters is not enough we need to make him really panic how are we gonna do that pretend the police made him wait wow. what are you suggesting get a police officer involved i sure am <laughs> how are we gonna get a police officer so now all we needed was a police officer to come and arrest richard and make this become a real evil prank after thinking for a while all of a sudden a great idea sprung to mind leslie, leslie. Yeah. right leslie we need your help how can i help you Wow, we're pranking Richard with these posters. Saying he's wanted for burglary and theft and we stuck them all over the village. There's, we stuck him in the restaurants, the shops. Everywhere. Petrol state, people's front doors. And we're making him believe that he's actually wanted. But Lauren had a good idea. We need a cop, we need a policeman, don't we? We sure do. And we were thinking who could potentially pretend to be a cop and get in this prank? And guess who we thought of? Who? You! <laughs> Are you down? Going for it, yes. Right, put this on. And here's your police hat. And we will need your help later on today. No worries. Deal? Deal. Let's do it. <laughs> right, so we're going to go into Richard's house right now and tell him we found all these posters everywhere all around the town. We've got a few spare because we printed like 50 off, didn't yes. we? But we're going to go tell Richard right now we found them all over the area and he needs to take them down now. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go into that house and tell Richard that the police have put wanted posters everywhere and he is wanted by the police. Let's do this. Richard, quick, wake up. No, this is serious. You need to see this, no, don't you? Honestly, this is really serious. What? Look what we found all everywhere. All over the village, didn't we, Jamie? Everywhere. Look. Look at this. You're wanted. Do you think I'm fickle, or something? What? You printed them, didn't you? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. At first, Richard thought this was a prank and that me and Lauren put these posters up ourselves. 
but we convinced Richard to actually believe this by showing him photos on Lauren's phone of all the posters all over the town, on the shops, on the garages, and even on the restaurants. It didn't take long for Richard to actually believe it and then rushed out of the house to take all the posters down as fast Jimmy, as he could. Jimmy, what are you going to do? I haven't done nothing wrong. Well, I don't know, Richard. Well, help me. The police have obviously put these up everywhere. Come on, let's go and get them. Well, yeah, but listen a second. If he, Even if you wrote them all down, you're still wanted. I'm not. You are. Richard was really beginning to panic. He genuinely believed that the police had put these posters up and they were all over the town. He was running through the streets, ripping down all the posters from the restaurants, from the shops, shops and from all the bus stops and lampposts. He genuinely thought the police wanted him and believed this prank thoroughly. He was panicking and panicking and panicking and eventually he gave in. He wanted to call the police and rectify this whole problem and put an end to this. As he really believed it. Seriously Jamie, I don't know what to do. I just have to ring the police and explain this. Well go on then ring him. I have to, won't I? Yes, go home and ring him now. You have to help me. Lauren, Jamie, what are you going to do? He's everywhere in the village. I'm going to get arrested. Help me please. Listen, calm down. Just calm down. Down. I can't. Let's, let's, do, let's, let's do this Calm properly. Down. Why don't you ring the police yourself? Ring the police and just explain to them that these posters are everywhere. You're not wanted. You haven't committed a crime. I mean, did you steal jewellery? No! Are you sure? Yes! If you have, just tell us now. I have not! It's okay if you have. If you have. I haven't! Just, you know, just admit it if you have. I have not! Okay, well, if you're, if you're confident, Ring the police then. I want you to help me. Well, ring the police. If you don't ring the police now, you're going to get arrested anyway. So ring the police. I can't get arrested for someone I am done. Well, you can because they think you have. Well, I am done it. Well, the whole village thinks you have because that one in the village. If you don't ring them now, you could be in worse trouble. Well, so that's that's it. Ring them quick. Do it, won't I? God, I can't believe it actually works. He actually <laughs> fell for it. He's so thick. So thick. Just before Richard was about to ring the police, we had one more thing up our sleeves that was going to make this prank even more believable. As you guys remember previously in this video, we got his brother Leslie in on the prank, pretending to be a policeman. And he was about to knock on the door to make this prank even more believable. He was dressed in a full police outfit and made it look the real deal. And this is how Richard reacted. Oh no! Quick, 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 no. quick, 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 Hello, police officer. <laughs> Richard ran upstairs and tried to hide in the shower. I don't know why, but he's about to reveal that this was all a prank, and all along, me and Lauren and Leslie were in on this prank, and it was just a joke. Prepare for his reaction. He was not Richard, happy. Richard, the police here. You're gonna have to come out. No, you, I'm not getting wrong. You're gonna have to come out. What are you in the shower for? I'm going in. I see through. Well, come, please come in. Come on, in you come. Come in, no. come in. Come in. You stupid old man! You d <laughs> Richard, it was a joke the whole time. Me and Lauren made those posters. I knew it! <laughs> and your brother was in on it as a copper. I was, yes, all the time. That's it! You freeze in trouble me now! All three of you! And you get all three of you back! You stupid old bunker! That's it now! Get out of my way! Honestly, you're so dumb, Richard! Get out of my way, yes! Yeah. You are a horrible man! You're a midget and little fat midget! You horrible man! Calm down, Richard! No! You just not uh, listen! Uh, stop pushing me! Hey, listen! Stop push me! It's not my fault that you stupid enough to fall for it. <laughs> he was wow. running running around the town, taking all the posters down. What a plonker. <laughs> I had enough of you three. Get him oh. Alright, okay, that was good. Payback. Payback. Yes it is, you three! I'm gonna get you all back! The prank's gonna continue! And it's gonna be worse than that, I'm telling you! Wait for the next video! This prank war is getting crazier and crazier by the day. And if you guys want to get involved, comment your ideas down in the comment section below right now and subscribe with notifications turned on for the next video. Today I was chased by a massive dinosaur and it would not leave me alone. Where did this dinosaur come from? And why is it trying to get into my house? It's very aggressive and would not leave us alone. But hold up, hold up. Let me explain what's going on here. So as you guys know, my family are in a huge prank hall right now. And I want to get involved and I want to pull off one of the biggest pranks that no one would expect. So I wanted to do something that no one in this world would ever think was possible. No one would ever expect it to happen and it's the best revenge ever. And I've got just the idea. So I began searching online for the best prank I can pull on my family. All the pranks I found online were boring pranks. 
I didn't want to do a prank that someone else has already done a thousand times online. And I wanted to do something huge and unique. And something my family would not expect. Then I came across this YouTube video. I saw there's a guy online called Ranger Chris. And he has loads of real life looking dinosaurs that look extremely realistic. These dinosaurs are crazy and would scare anybody. And I would love to scare my family with these dinosaurs. But how am I going to get a hold of Ranger Chris to convince him to bring his dinosaurs to Richard's house? Well, I spent all day trying to get a hold of Ranger Chris, but there was no luck. And then finally, four hours later, I finally managed to get on a phone call with Ranger Chris. And he agreed he was going to bring his dinosaurs to me so I can scare my whole family and neighborhood. I can't believe he actually agreed to this. Guys, I have just gotten off the phone with Ranger Chris and he is going to bring his dinosaurs from over four hours away to Richard's house to pull off the biggest scare prank ever on the internet. I could have done anything. I could have done clowns. I could have done a uh, ghost. No, I'm getting the biggest dinosaur, the most realistic looking dinosaur in the world coming to Richard's house to scare every single member of my family. I cannot wait for Ranger Chris to get here. So that's right, Ranger Chris has agreed to come to my family's house and be in on this major prank. I've been planning this prank with Ranger Chris for over two months and the day has finally came where it was time to meet Ranger Chris and prank my whole family. Later that day, I met up with Chris and he introduced me to his giant dinosaurs. One of his team members got inside of the dinosaur and then transformed into a real moving dinosaur. This thing is the most realistic looking dinosaur I've ever seen in my life and it is huge. But now he's arrived, it's time to set up the dinosaurs into the house and start scaring my family members. I'm going to scare my family members one by one and the first target is my girlfriend Lauren. She is inside the house right now asleep on the sofa and I want to go straight through the front door and scare her as my first victim. Let's do this. <laughs> Ranger Chris did it, didn't we? <laughs> what do you think, Lauren? Well, me. But guess what? what? We're gonna prank Leslie and Richard with this giant dinosaur. They are gonna go mad. I know. They will not like that at all. <laughs> Look at the size that of it. Me. That took us over an hour to get through that door, didn't it? Woo! It was a squeeze. What? While I was asleep? Yes. So now we've pranked Lauren. It's time to get Leslie. I've managed to convince Lauren to get in on this prank and not tell anybody so we can come back later and get Leslie. An hour later, Leslie was in the kitchen making a cup of coffee and he had no expectations of what is about to happen. He is about to be petrified from this giant dinosaur. Prepare for his reaction. <laughs> Are you scared, are you? Yes! Why? Look at the size of the thing! <laughs> Calm down, listen! No, Calm, it's night time Calm then. down! No! Calm down! It's funny, is it? Yes! Well, I don't think so! It wasn't me, it was Ranger Chris! He brought his dinosaurs here! What? Do you think that's funny, do you? You got a stupid old man on the line and take your stupid power! Leslie was not happy. He was absolutely going crazy. He did not find this funny at all. After trying to calm him down for ages, he just wasn't having it. But me and Ranger Chris wanted to tell Leslie about our giant plan of scaring Richard. And of course, Leslie calmed down and was in on the prank to get Richard. Okay. Right, you go on Chris, you tell him. We've got a very good plan. We're actually gonna scare Richard. In fact, I think we're gonna try and eat him. Whoa. Oh, that's even better. That's, what do you think of that? I think that's amazing. We're Let's gonna go get it. Richard really good with Ronnie, this dinosaur. do you reckon we should do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it! Let's do it! So now it was time to scare my dad Richard with this giant dinosaur. It took us about 20 minutes to rotate the dinosaur in the kitchen to get in the perfect angle and position for Richard to walk into it. It was with great difficulty, but we finally managed to get the dinosaur into position ready for Richard to be scared. The second Richard walks through this door, he is going to be met with a giant dinosaur. There is no way he would ever suspect this. No one in this world would expect to walk into their kitchen and then see a giant 15 foot dinosaur what rules extremely loud 
But any second now, Richard is about to walk into the kitchen and have the scare of his entire life. The dinosaur was in position and it was time to scare Richard. Let's see his reaction. Oh my god! Richard is gonna go absolutely crazy when he opens that door. Yep, that's the plan. Oh my god. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. This is what we've all been waiting for. Let's see Richard's reaction. Richard, are you actually angry? Yes, I am! Poor you a f***ing twat! Richard was going absolutely crazy. He did not find this funny at all. I just pranked him absolutely massively and he does not like it. He will not calm down and he even walked off in anger. So I think it's time Chris got his dinosaurs out of there and ran away himself too, before Richard gets even more angry. I think it's fair to say I got Richard good in this video. And as you guys know, this prank war is getting crazier and crazier every single video. And if you guys have any ideas for future pranks that myself or Leslie or Richard could put on each other, leave a comment in the comment section down below because this prank war is gonna get even more crazy. So make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on and I'll see you guys in the next video. So this is my dad Richard and he gets extremely angry all of the time. Over the last two years I've pulled hundreds of pranks on him and he's gotten extremely angry in every single one. So today I decided it's time to raise the level and see how many times we can get him angry in 24 hours and see what he does. Get out of here now Jamie! Now I'm not completely that mean, right? After I finished making him angry for 24 hours I'm going to give him this £10,000 surprise gift, which is something he's wanted for his whole life. And hopefully it makes up for making him angry for the whole day. So make sure you watch to the very end to see the £10,000 surprise. Let the games begin. Right, Leslie, do you understand the game plan? Yes. Are you ready for this? Yes. Are we going to make Richard really angry? I'm going to make him more super, super angry than he's ever been before. So what are you going to do? Well, to start off with, I'm going to do things lightly. Right. I'm going to keep tickling him yeah. to make him angry. <gasps> stop tickling me! Stop it! I said stop it! I do not like to be tickled! So Leslie started by tickling Richard to make him angry. But now it's my turn and I've got just the idea. Right, it's my turn now and I'm going to make things even better. You think tickling him was good? I'm going to lock Richard in the shed and lock him in there. <laughs> Gonna get even more angry now. Richard, what are you doing in the shed? I'm trying to look for summer. What are you doing? Go away and look for summer. Why are you getting so angry for all the time? Go away. All right, fine, I'll go away. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Door. What? Door Why? I said no. Open it. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Say sorry. No! Say sorry. What for? Because it's funny! No! <laughs> After myself and Leslie have pranked Richard this morning, I needed some backup. I needed more help in making Richard angry. He's going to cotton on if it's just me and Leslie pranking him all day. So we're going to need some assistance. And I know just the person. I managed to convince my girlfriend Lauren to also get involved in this challenge. But I told her to come round for a business meeting, which she didn't really expect. 
What's the business? Well, we're making Richard extremely angry today. Oh, yes. And I need your help. Oh, I will definitely help with that. So, Lauren, how are you going to help me with this business opportunity? Well, I'm going to use my phone to keep ringing him and ringing him, but not speak when he answers. By the way, you do realise at the end of this video, I'm giving him a £10,000 gift to say sorry for this. Really? Yep, so we need to get to the end of this video. Oh, let's go. Ready? I'm going to ring him right now. Go. <gasps> Lauren? Lauren? Yeah. Shall I do it again? Do it again, do it again. Let's go. <laughs> He's gonna go mad. He's gonna go mad. Laura! 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 What do you want? Laura! Oh, dear! Laura! Where are you? What do you keep ringing my phone for? I just wanted to wind you up. Do you think it's funny, do you? Yeah. Funny, and you, do you? <laughs> think it's funny? Yes. What are you saying, boys? Pick on me today? What do you mean? Things were going great. Richard is getting angrier and angrier and angrier. But I don't think he's angry enough. I think we need to raise the level even more and make him even more angry. If he's going to get a £10,000 surprise gift at the end of the video, he's got to work for it. So we need to up the level and make him even more angrier. Right, Jamie, what are you going to do now? Well, I've been crafting a plan. I convinced Richard to go to the shop and when he went there, I left him there and drove off straight away. I want you to film in the back secretly, okay? okay. And then when he gets out, I'm gonna drive off and just see what happens. I'm assuming he's gonna ring me and go mad. The shop, by the way, is an hour away. So he's gonna he's have to walk gonna go mad. He can't walk an hour. Well, he's gonna have to the city, old man. Right, hurry up in that shop. All right, just like get some milk and sugar. Hurry up. All right. You ready for this? Yeah. Ready? Quick, go. <laughs> go, quick, go. <laughs> go, quick. <laughs> quick, go. <laughs> quick, go. <laughs> quick, go. <laughs> I've left them abandoned over one hour away from home in a random shop in the middle of nowhere. He has absolutely no idea I've just driven off. He is gonna go mad. Well, I don't care. Well, how's he gonna get home? But he's getting a ten thousand pound surprise at the end of this video. I'm yeah, but he doesn't know that yet. Well, he'll find out later in the video. Don't worry. After five minutes went by, I received a FaceTime call from Richard, and he was not very happy. Where are you? Oh, I'm here to the shop. What? I'm here now. What's wrong? What's wrong? You get me until you shop, are you? <laughs> no! You are! <laughs> I might have, yes. Do you get your bread? Do you get your bread? Do you get your bread? <laughs> yeah, who's dead? <laughs> well, no, well, you're gonna have a long walk home, Richard. I'm very sorry. Richard is now seriously angry. He's had enough of these pranks all day long. But Leslie has one more giant great idea in mind to get Richard angry. Right, Leslie, what are you doing now? Well, you're gonna take things even further, eh? Right. And you're gonna tip this bottle of Coke yeah. all over Richard's head. Do you think we took that too far? No. Do you think we took it too far? No. I think we might have a little bit. Just a bit over the top. <laughs> do you reckon it's time for a surprise? Yes. I think we should surprise him now, don't we? Yeah, we should do, yes. Before we give Richard his surprise, we've got one more thing to make Richard angry, haven't we? Yes. What's that, Ron? Wow. Arabella wanted to be in on the action as well. Yeah, she's got a bad stomach, hasn't she? Yeah. And she's done a nice big poo. Oh, right, dead Arabella, you're pranking Richard already. <laughs> You can grow up big and strong to prank Richard all day long. Bro, what's that smell? Well, Arabella's left you a little surprise in your room. Oh, even the baby's picking on me now. She's left you a nice big poo. Get it, Get it from here. What's Stinks. the matter? There's you, Lauren, my brother, and the baby picking on me now. Do you feel that funny, do you? <laughs> I tell you what, Richard, I'm very sorry. I'm going to make it up to you. There's no way you can make it up for today, I, ever. I will make it up to it. There's no way. I tell you what, get dressed, come downstairs, and I've got a massive surprise for you downstairs. Ah, we'll see. I've got a big surprise for we'll you. We'll see, shall we? I have. We'll see, I said. I promise. Just go. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. All right. 
Hurry up. I think we've made him pretty angry. For the past 24 hours, me, Leslie and Lauren have made Richard extremely angry. So now it's time to be nice. It's time to give him that £10,000 surprise gift. And that is a £10,000 Submarino Rolex. Richard has always wanted a Rolex for his entire life. And I brought Richard his most favorite watch, as I know he's wanted this for years and years, but he could never afford it. Although I've put Richard through living hell for the past 24 hours, I hope this makes up for it. So let's go and surprise him. Right, guys, are we ready to surprise Richard? Yeah. Yes. That is Richard's new watch, a brand new Rolex. So nice. Do you like it? Love it. That was ten thousand pounds. Well, that's amazing. Do you think that'll make up for all the things we've done to him? More than what we've done to him. Let's surprise Richard. Right, Richard, it's time for your surprise. Today, me, Lauren, Leslie, and Arabella all teamed up to make you extremely angry for twenty-four hours. Oh, you know that. And we're going to say sorry today, aren't we? Yes. yes. And there's no better way to say sorry, Richard, than your very own £10,000 Rolex. Oh my god, no way! Honestly, it's all yours, isn't it? Yeah. There's no way! Me, Lauren and Leslie all went in three ways, didn't we, to buy that Rolex and yeah. Arabella, yeah. didn't you? Little Arabella. And that's, brand, that's yours, a brand new, it's the one you've always wanted, a Submariner. No. Take a look, Richard, it's all yours. Oh. This is your brand new Rolex. <sighs> that's no way that's mine, Jamie. That is your brand new Rolex, isn't it, guys? Oh. We want to wind you up, push you to your absolute limits, and then to say sorry, surprise you with a brand new Rolex. Oh, I always wanted one of them. Do you forgive us, Richard? Well... But do you accept our apology? Yes. Guy, there you go, he accepts our apology. Oh. Challenge complete. Complete, yes. yes. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. And you, Annabella. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Was that worth it? That was. More than worth it. Enjoy your new Rolex. Oh, I will.